So Sonic Colors it is a great game. I mean, you get to play as all different forms of Sonic and you get to see all different new levels and new enemies like those two robot thingies. You get to save aliens in an interstellar music amusement park. It's amazing. The only reason why it's not like in my top three or anything is because Sonic's voice is horrible. He sounds like freaking Knuckles or something. He, his voice is like really low. I mean, his voice before colors is like awesome. But s now it's just, ugh. Even Generations is only okay. But here's a little bit more gameplay. Alright, so now you get to play as like Wisps, which are aliens, and you get to like fight. Well, not really fight, but I mean, use the wisps to Sonic's advantage. But my favorite wisp, of course, is the spikes wisp. It's not really spikes. Well, it doesn't sound like it. It sounds like splates. I call it splate because that just sounds cooler. But anyway, this game is awesome. Not due to Sonic's voice, not quite in my top four. So, number four, which is Sonic Heroes. I actually have this game for the PlayStation 2, and it's a really great game. This isn't my gameplay, but, I mean, it's still awesome. I, I mean, this plays like every single character, including Shadow, Knuckles, even, like, Rouge and Tails, which I don't really like Tails or Cream or Big, but the rest of them are amazing. Even Rouge, I mean... She's okay, um, kind of a slut, but anyway, um, you get to play as Vector, Charmy, Espio, oh my god, it's so amazing, and you even get to fight so many bosses, there's a wide variety of levels, especially for its time, and you even get to, like, use speed, flight, and power to your advantage, like, you, the powers are my favorite, you can last, like, destroy so many things and when you're battling bosses that's an advantage but when you're battling like team bosses i just use the tornado but anyway um this game is awesome the only reason why it's not in my top three is because it's not like the best game in the world because of like it was like there's, the bosses are kind of easy, except for um, the Egg Emperor, that's one of the hardest bosses. But the rest of them are very easy. And um, it's just so, not really a challenge, except for some of the levels. Like, I can beat every single level with at least a C rank. Except for like, the challenges. But the hardest part of this game is getting the emeralds. I mean, the special stages were like, so stupid. But anyway, more about the game itself. Um, yeah, every single character, but I mean, you, you, unlike you know, you have to go through special stage to get Chaos Emeralds, like, all you need to do in Generations to get Chaos Emeralds is to beat bosses. And, um, you know, in Lilius getting Chaos Emeralds is a cinch, all you need to do is beat the levels. So anyway, Heroes, great game, not quite the best. Alright, so this is Sonic 06, my number 3. It's actually called Sonic the Hedgehog, but I call it Sonic 06 because it just sounds much cooler. And that's because it was made in 2006, at least 360 degrees. But, um, what I actually know is that the PS3 version I could call Sonic 07 because it was actually made in 2007. It just sounds much cooler and it's much shorter. Anyway, I love this game because it's kind of like Sonic Heroes you can play as almost every character. And um, in this, it actually has a good amount of glitches. But it doesn't appear in every single pop, a lot of them, but like this one where you're like walking up a loop and you can't get down. But anyway, you get to play as Omega, you get to play as I think Tails, and Knuckles, Sonic, 
shadow all your favorites. And there's even a new character named Silver. It has telekinetic powers. And it's awesome because no Sonic character has done that before. And the awesome thing about Silver is he's like, he knows Blaze somehow. Probably because they met, but I mean, Blaze and Silver are really good friends in this. And they appear to be better friends in generations too. But anyway, I also like this game because like, you get to, um, it actually has a pretty good plot. White Eggman. Um, you actually have to save a princess. So, we and don't have to Let's get to the Princess Celia. Um, because the air is a city called Soliana. And your enemy in this is Solaris. And you also get to fight Eggman. Of course, like every other Sonic game. But this is different. It's also the 15th anniversary game, which is good. Because I like anniversary games. They're really good. Like, Generations is an anniversary game. Anyway. More about this game. Shadows levels are amazing. Like you get to play as each hedgehog and they each have their own story. But like when you're playing as hedgehogs, you get to switch between characters. But more about just the hedgehog story. Like silver, you get to use my power. Like you actually kind of get to fly. And Sonic is just fast, I guess. And Shadow, he can like has awesome vehicles. He's a, he just looks cool. And he's kind of awesome. But this game is awesome. Due to the glitches, it's not 2 or 1. But it's still amazing. Alright, number 2 is... Shadow of the Hedgehog. This is a great game because it's like you get to have weapons, you get to have a wide variety of levels, you get to have a wide variety of bosses. The thing is, fan a lot of fans think it's like, oh, it's not part of the Sonic franchise. But it is. Is Sonic in it? Is there like a whole bunch of levels? Is there like a whole bunch of bosses? Are there other characters in it? Is Sonic in it? Oh my god, it's like... Seriously, people? But anyway, this game is also awesome because you get to choose which missions you do. And like, it leads you to certain levels and it's like a mystery unless you watch videos of it. But anyway, it's so cool. Like, it's so mysterious. It's amazing. But my least favorite part of it is like I can't really name anything bad but I mean my least favorite part of it is that the people that are helping you with your missions are annoying for example in this one level um this I think it's a carnival um this you know tails he's being he's so annoying in that level yeah one time, like, in one of the cutscenes, Shadow Curses. But anyway, Shadow Curses a lot in this game, and that's another good thing about it. It just brings so much semi-T stuff to Sonic, and it's amazing. So, yeah. I'm gonna, for 2 and 1, I'm gonna give her a rate, and this will probably be a 9.8, maybe? I love it. Gr second greatest Sonic game ever. Ever. You get to like play as the werehog, you get to like boost it actually I think introduce the boost feature. You get to like have so much action, you get to fight people. I mean fight robots. You get to like battle Eggman and boost him and stuff. I love PS3 360 for a little better. Well, actually way better than the PS2, but PS2 is still good. 
it's a full version. We have PS2. I forgot to turn so good. But still, this game is awesome. Like, the Warthog makes me so excited when you're like battling enemies and stuff. And when you're in levels like Shamar and like Eggman Land. Oh, and I forgot. Eggman Land, and, like, you get to have a whole level. Not just a day or a night level. Like, it's both combined, so it only takes like a half hour or something. This is an amazing game. I mean, like boosting, I love that feature. I mean, when you hear Jack the Infinite emphasize it, that's hilarious. And anyway, um, they use the boost feature in Sonic Colors, and now they're using it in Sonic Generation. So Sonic Unleashed introduced a whole new like way to play Sonic, and it also introduced the werewolf, who I love playing as. You get to like fight enemies and fighting bosses. Really good. The werewolf is unless you're fighting the dark guy of Phoenix. That one's really hard. Well, that's not really hard. It's kind of hard, but anyway, day bosses are like so hard because you have to boost into them, and it's such a challenge. There's a wide variety of levels. Pretty good variety of bosses, and you can even have downloadable levels from like PlayStation Network and other places. And this game is so amazing, I cannot express it enough. Like, when you're um playing as regular Sonic, it's so happy and stuff. And like, you get to like when you boost into enemies, they die. Sonic. I like that. And like, the controls are so easy to use they have some there's no stupid old cow you have like some control thing on the front of like well each level is loading and it's actually partly historical because of all the cultures people are doing when um, in the village and um, also it's so awesome the, how many levels there are there's almost as many levels as heroes if you don't count teams, but I, I'm binding the Warthog and regular Sonic, and it's awesome how like it's so like when you're battling a, a dragoon, the music is awesome. I mean, this game has amazing music. Like in Sonic Colors, they're like good, great, awesome, outstanding, amazing, and that's how I feel about this game because. It's so amazing! Like, this game is even better than Generations. I mean, seriously, I love it. And there's no way to exploit or anything, but there's a way to get to, like, the warehouse moves are so exciting. Even in the Wii and PS2 version. You're, like, fighting enemies, um, going through cool stages, I mean. I think it introduces trick ramps, which that is awesome. You like and then it leads you to the high path, which the high path is always great. So this game, is well, but it's love it. Favorite Sonic game, it's so actiony and violent, and it's a new thing with daytime Sonic, and it introduces it. so such a evolution of the Sonic franchise in Sonic 06. Sonic 06 is great, but I mean, this tops every single Sonic game. Like, even the classics. And this game is just amazing. I'm out now, and goodbye. Make sure to play Sonic Unleashed.